Hi, it's Liv. Welcome. As you probably noticed, I really, really like my time at Sandrox, so much so that it has become the main game I discuss and play on this channel. I usually don't get as invested in simulation games, or cozy games as some people like to call them, but this one seems to have a perfect ratio of casual gameplay to action and social elements. And let's not forget about the visuals and character design. On the one hand, they're cartoonish and heartwarming, but on the other, attractive enough to, well, stimulate the imagination. Anyway, the next big update is scheduled for April, and we can expect some more story, more side quests, romance quests, and finally, the marriage system. And of course, there's a lot of excitement in the community, but it got me thinking, what do I want to see in Sandrock? What do I want there to be to consider Sandrock a perfect game? And yes, it's gonna be one of those videos where I just sit down and fantasize to my heart's content. It's not going to be about the gameplay itself, but rather about the social elements, characters and visuals, because I'm mostly happy with the gameplay. So, first of all, more character creation options. An additional face shape would be nice, especially one similar to Katori's or Amira's. Uh, in other words, a slimmer, more realistic one, because sometimes when I look at my character's face next to the person my character is dating, the difference is just a bit too striking. All characters are cartoonish, but some are just a bit more conventionally proportioned than others. Actually, it's easier to make a male character with a little more realistic face, and I would like females to have that option as well. And of course, more hairstyle options. We've already got a beautiful loose hairstyle that everybody seems to be using, but a low long ponytail would be wonderful. Now, if I want a low ponytail, I always have to wear a hat, but I'd like that to be available without a hat. So a low ponytail or a simple long braid, or, or both, both is good. Another thing I would love to see is more color options for the clothes. Ideally, I'd like to be able to recolor my own clothing, just like we can recolor the furniture, but if that's impossible, then just more options would be nice. My builder usually looks like a circus runaway, and when I see someone like Heidi or Katori, I get envious. But more than anything, I want a set of pure black clothes. It probably makes very little sense for the desert, but I still want it. Also, I grew up in the 90s watching Wrangler and Levi's commercials, so... A white top plus light blue ripped jeans or a small jean skirt plus cowboy boots would also be a lovely addition. Plus it would match the setting. So while we add clothing, there's another thing that I kind of fantasize about. A wedding gown. Now I'm not a great fan of wedding dresses, especially white princess gowns, and in games I usually get married in my work clothes if I can help it, but there's one type of dress that I wouldn't mind being available at all. And I would definitely use it if it was even an option. A gown inspired by traditional Chinese wedding clothes. Since it's a Chinese game and there are many references to Chinese culture anyway, I don't think it's entirely unrealistic. Well, it's about as realistic as having so many Chinese dishes in the Wild West inspired saloon. Uh, there are even some traditional Chinese makeup options, so if I could have that red wedding gown, I'd be ecstatic. It would also be nice, and this is pure fantasy, okay? It would be nice if our bride or groom could wear something that depends on our choice. So if we wear regular clothes, they show up in their regular clothes. If we wear a tux or a white gown, they show up in a matching set, you know. That would be brilliant. I'm not saying my ideas are realistic. Okay, so I don't think I have any more cosmetic requests, or rather, dreams. Uh, so let's move on to the characters. Obviously, I'd like Jane to finally show up and not be too delicate. We already have soft female characters. One thing that Sandrock is missing is a more edgy female character, and Grace doesn't quite cut it. Uh, and I don't think that Jane is going to be that because she's a teacher. I just wish there was a more sassy and action-oriented female character who is not the builder. <laughs> Um, when it comes to guys, well, Fang was supposed to be the dark one, or it seemed he would be the dark one, but for now he's just kind of meek. I'm still hoping for some face heel turn in this case, or rather face heel face turn. For me, the ideal progression for this character, given that some of his traits are already established, would be as follows. Distant Fang, uh, then a slightly more open Fang who tries to trust people, and this is what's already in the game. Then, after some triggering events, Desperate and Broken Fang, 
then Dark and Angry Fang, and then Fang who's healed and conquered his fears. This would be perfect uh, for me. And apart from that, I do not want him to die or disappear. It seems that Portia has scarred me for life. Uh, of course, obviously, I want more ways to participate in and complete the cheery conspiracy quest, because if we refuse our view, it counts as skipping. And I think it locks us out of a small mission in the graveyard. Yes, it is small. Nevertheless, it is a tasty morsel for those interested in Fang. So I actually want that quest to be available regardless of the outcome of Cheery Conspiracy. I'd also really like for Owen to have a secret or, I don't know, some sort of questionable past maybe, because for now he's just too perfect and I think there's a lot of potential in there, especially given the fact that he used to travel a lot. Who knows what he did when he was younger? So yes, yes, please tarnish that perfect image just a little bit. Now, we know that Logan is going to be romanceable, unless it's a bait-and-switch situation, but I doubt it. In any case, because he is not available during like two-thirds of the game, and he is going to return to Sandrock for Act 3, his romance missions are probably going to be much more compressed. Uh, on the other hand, it's not like romance is tied to the main story, but still. Uh, and I'm just speculating, of course. Anyway, I realize that Logan is a rather simple guy, and I don't expect him to suddenly become complicated and deeply intellectual, but I hope he will be fun and interesting when he finally returns home. I mean, this guy ended up winning the poll regarding the most popular romance partners in Sandrock. So yeah, the crowd has spoken. Another thing I wish for is for weddings not to take place in the temple. I'd prefer literally any other place, the city hall being the most suitable one, probably. Most player characters have very little to do with the Church of Light anyway, so actually, what's the point? Alas, I know that it is going to be the church, because, as far as I remember, it has actually been confirmed. Okay, so that's it for me, for now, and what are your expectations and hopes for the future content? If you wish, share them in a comment or visit my Discord channel, we do talk quite a bit about that. And that's gonna be it for today, thanks for watching, and I see you in the next video. Take care.